So, now that you've seen the effect, let's go ahead and show you how to set it up. So, there's a few things that you want to keep in mind when you're setting up this effect. The first thing is, you want to make sure that you have a steady shot. So, what that means is that you're going to need to have your camcorder on a good tripod. You don't want your camera to move at all during the um, filming of the effect. If it moves at all, then it's not going to look right. It's going to look funny. Second thing you got to remember is that you want to do all of your shots continuously. You don't want to stop or take breaks, things like that. Um, what that does is it's going to create different lighting, different shadows, and your, your shot's going to look funny if you don't have it set up and run continuously through unless you're in a controlled environment where you can control all the light and the shadows. The third thing, you want to make sure that you have a central point where the subject is not to pass. Our, path, our central point in the shot was the middle of the couch or the lamp. So the subject should not pass that at any time. If they do, the parts of their body is basically going to disappear in the shot. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is drop the first video or clip into the first track. Then I want to go ahead and take the second video and drop it into the second track. Now what I need to do is if I move this timeline over this area you'll see all you can see is the second track that I laid on top of the first one. You can't see the first track. So what I need to do to fix that is I need to go to edit and then go to effects and then go to crop. So I want to go ahead and edit that effect. apply it then edit it so what I want to do now is if you can see when I move these things it actually does different things on the screen for the cropping so I want the bottom to show I want and if I do it this way you'll see the it start to disappear on the other side but I want her to show on the right and if I move this this way you'll see the top start to show so the last thing I want to do is on the left I want her to show. So what I want to do is move this to about 50% so that I have half and half of the screen. And I do it at 50% because that's where I told her not to pass the halfway point on the screen. So now we're done. So I hit done. And now we're set. If you play back the clip, you'll now see the clones interacting with one another. You can play with this in many different ways. It's really easy to do, and it's a lot of fun. You can, you know, have them interact with each other, fight each other, as long as you have your scene set up right. There's a lot of fun things you can do with the cloning process. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching our tutorials, and we hope to see you again soon.